launch our, our final report for the study. Um, and I'd like to thank our team and our partners for being involved with us. It's been a privilege and an honour to be able to work with the swim industry and produce the results that we have. This is the first international study of its kind. We've observed 122 lessons and we've tested 176 children aged between three and five. The study has focused only on children from birth to, grade, to uh, five years of age and we can confidently report that on average, over the, those five years, the children are seven months ahead on their, on their motor skills and we've looked at what are the other things that children are gaining from participating in swimming. We found that they were ten months ahead in their levels of cognition, so the ways that they were thinking about um, reading, writing, arithmetic, all of those things that uh, parents are concerned about. So ten months is a significant difference for children who are participating in swimming and they were 15 months ahead in their socio and emotional development. So they're significant findings. But what was interesting, we also found that swimming kids were not good at some things. They weren't very good at ball handling skills. So, sorry Laurie. <laughs> Children under five who are participating in swimming have a lot more gains in their motor development, their cognition, their language development, their mathematical reasoning than the normal population but also in their ways of understanding directions. So it seemed to us is that what swimming is doing, participating in swimming, may be adding different forms of capital to these children that is going to help in their transitioning to school. We also were very aware that swimming lessons are very expensive. Are the results that we were finding, were these due to the types of parents and families who were coming to swimming, vis-a-vis -vis those uh, of the middle classes who could afford swimming lessons? And we're pleased to report that when we did the, the survey and the child testing, that children from low SES backgrounds were performing better than the normal population. So this is something about swimming that we're confident and, and saying it is about the swimming rather than something else. So in conclusion, what we would like to say is that participating in early years swimming appears to add benefits to young children other than just water safety. So we would be encouraging parents and, and policy makers to think about the benefits of encouraging families to support young children in participating in early years swimming. And it's just so fantastic that this is more than just water safety. Because of the results showing that many of the kids are learning a lot of the skills that they need to transition into, into school, um, that governments might start uh, supporting uh, early swimming lessons. Uh, clearly, even when kids are coming from low SES backgrounds, rural backgrounds, remote backgrounds, they're the ones most at risk of not being successful in schools. It's just absolutely fantastic that Griffith University, with Professor Robin Jorgensen at the helm, has been able to dot the I's, cross the T's, and show that in some instances, young kids are 15 months ahead of their peers by the time they go to school. This is an unbelievable study. And it really means that every parent right out through Australia, indeed, every parent throughout the world should have their kids learning to swim at an early age.